Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about important interview questions in database, DBMS and SQL. Let's before starting, let me introduce myself to those who are new to my channel. Hi guys, my name is Amita Singh and I'm a full stack developer working in Verizon. I have also worked in CTS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel because on my channel, you will find all the informative videos related to company's recruitment process, uh, interview experience and what are the, you know, every each and every guideline of different companies and recruitment process and previous year question paper. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So today's agenda is I'm going to cover important questions from DBMS and SQL. Let's get started. So what are the important topics in DBMS? Guys, I have a tutorial on DBMS and in that tutorial, I have only covered only the important topics which, you know, the in, in, a, in, a, in an interview, you may face those questions. That is only 12 to 13, uh, 13 videos are there for 5 to 10 minutes. If you, if you are a non-CS student or you are a CS student, I would hardly, I would highly uh, uh, recommend you or I would highly suggest you to go ahead and watch those videos. That vi videos is very simple and very straightforward. You can easily understand. There is no, you know, rocket sciences in that. It is very simple. That is for DBMS. Now, what are the important topic in SQL? DBMS and SQL. Now, in SQL, the important point is first join. You should know each and every join. Where we use inner join, where we use outer join. You know, there is a when <clears throat> there is a diagram, when diagram, you can check that and you can get a, a good idea, a good understanding. With the help of the diagram, you can, you know, uh, tell the interviewer what will be the output if I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm joining two table with the help of inner join what will be the output if i'm using outer join what will be the output how the output will look so you should be aware of first joins inner join outer join or different joins you have then the, the th second thing what is the difference between a cross join and a natural join you know you should have a good understanding in all the joins the third question may come like what is different between uh, the alternative key and uh, the candidate key? Candidate key and primary key. Difference between a candidate key and primary key. So the second thing after join, you should focus on the key. Different types of key in uh, SQL. You should you should be familiar with the, all those key and the difference between all those key. Alternative key, primary key, foreign key and candidate key. You should have a good knowledge of that. At least what is candidate key at least what is alternative key so the second part is key the third part uh, which includes your uh, you know uh, query writing which is which would be uh, uh, i guess it will be simple question only is very straightforward suppose list the way to get the count of records in a table to get the count of records this is this question may ask or uh, name the employees whose uh, whose name starts with a a alphabet name the employee's first name fetch the employee's first name uh, which start with alphabet a so you need to use like percentage and you need to use that a you need to how, how you can write this query you know very well if you don't know then uh, google it out this is important question uh, write a sql query to find the name of employee that begins with a so start select from table name where employee like a percentage a percentage means starting from a now write a sql query to get the third highest salary of the employee from the employee table third highest salary how you can get select top one salary from select top three salary from the employee table now uh, you should be aware like in which SQL which will which SQL uh, you are using which uh, structured query language you are using my SQL SQL server because the uh, you know uh, you know the functions or uh, the the query may differ in my SQL and uh, the query which we write in SQL server so you need to be very familiar with uh, on which uh, platform you are writing the query you are writing in mysql or you are writing in sql so you should know about this so what is the second question this is the third highest or second highest salary 
Uh, apart from this uh, query writing, you can have a good understanding of relationship. What is relationship and uh, you know ER diagram, you know uh, ER diagram is also important, but not that important. You can if you have a time, you can go through the ER diagram. Now, the next question is you should know about the drop and truncate, the difference between drop and truncate both seems uh, uh, both both looks same right same right so you need to find out the difference between uh, what is drop and what is truncate how the, the both terms are different in uh, sql so these are the only uh, basic and important question in sql and dbms if you prepare all these questions then yeah you are good to go uh, in at least sql and dbms and and if if even if the company is hiring for 10 lakh or uh, you know 6 lakh or 3 lakh the questions will be basics from sql and dbms it won't be that tough the tougher questions will be only from your programming skills side not from the dbms or sql side so if you are a non cs student or cs student i would highly recommend you i would highly suggest you to at least go through this sql topics and dbms topic dbms topic which i have covered in the tutorial if you are not able to understand in the tutorial just take the topic and learn it from uh, any website or on, on any youtube channel whatever suits you but that is the only important topic which you need to cover that's all you know, don't need to bother about more the more uh, topics and all that stuff and in sql write query writing you need to have a basic understanding of how to fetch uh, you know alphabets starting from a or if m uh, m or M, uh, you know, it is in between, uh, you know, the alphabet in between it means the how we should use like and percentage. That's how you should know how you can fetch the first highest salary or third highest salary from the table. And yeah, you are good to go. You should have good understanding in all the keys, primary key, alternative key, uh, candidate key and all that stuff. And you should know uh, the difference between truncate and drop that and that's all you are good to go with uh, at least dbms and sql hope this video was useful for you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel in this channel you'll find more informative video related to companies and all this stuff written process and all that stuff now um, if you haven't joined my telegram group guys you can ping me on instagram i'll provide you the telegram link link uh, that is a private telegram group and where i uh, provide you know th there are so many materials over there on the telegram group you can um, see that if you need so thank you for watching